want to say from the onset, there will be no room for exclusion of any part of the Republic of Kenya. We are going to govern in a manner that makes sure that no part of Kenya is left behind. No sector of Kenya is left behind. No community of Kenya is left behind. We're going to move together as a nation because the people of Kenya are already telling us that we need to change the politics of our nation and eliminate ethnicity from the equation of the leadership or governance of the Republic of Kenya. And that is, we are going to obey those instructions from the people of Kenya. Um, with that expanded mandate, <clears throat> um, as I said, comes responsibility, which we must account for. And I will be leading this team in making sure that not only Kenya is united, but the delivery of government business is going to be to every part of the Republic of Kenya, making sure that if we move together, we can actually achieve more than by getting divided. And in so doing, let me just say two um, very important things. Number one, because we intend to deliver as a government, going into the future, Our government must be accountable. We will shortly be uh, taking steps to make sure that we run a transparent, democratic, but accountable government. And we have discussed here with these um, uh, legislators and uh, uh, members of both the Senate and the National Assembly that we will be looking at the standing orders. It has not been possible for cabinet secretaries to be interrogated by the legislature. Some members of parliament have been answering questions in parliament. We do not think that is the right thing to do. And we are going to have a discussion so that we can adjust and amend the standing orders to make it possible for cabinet secretaries to get to the floor of the house and answer questions and uh, explain government policy on the floor of the house so that the people's representatives, members of parliament and senators, can interrogate what their government is doing. We do not think that it is enough for cabinet secretaries to go to committees of parliament. We have discussed with the, our speaker and there is a possibility of us ensuring that we run an accountable government by making sure that on a daily basis, the people of Kenya, through their representatives in parliament, can ask questions, can interrogate government policy, government programs on the floor of the house so that um, uh, uh, we can be better accountable as a, as a government. We will be um, speaking to many of the other issues as we, as we move forward. We will be um, uh, making our, polit our public policy uh, pronouncements to guide the country in the direction in which we believe the country will move uh, forward. And as I have said, we want to move the country forward at the earliest opportunity possible. We are looking forward to uh, the processes that are now ongoing coming to uh, a conclusion. Shortly, um, we will be suggesting uh, members of uh, um, Kenya Kwanzaa to the transition uh, committee. 
I think we are doing that today so that the process of the transition can kick in and we can um, go towards uh, concluding the matter of the election. The journey to liberate this country from state capture, conflict of interest, economic mismanagement has just started. And we are grateful to God that uh, the man who has been given this task is equal to it. And uh, it is upon all of us to support him, to work as a team, so that we justify the decision made by the people of Kenya against all odds from the DCI, ESCC, county commissioners, deputy county commissioners, chiefs, assistant chiefs. Yeah? I mean, I mean we can't even believe it. <laughs> I think, uh, I think uh, this is a historic election where what had been mobilized has been brought to nothing. And the whole nonsense of the system and the, and the, and the deep state has been led that analogy that the will of God and the will of the people is what counts in an election.